dear friends you must have heard thought in the mind has made us what we are by thought was wrought and built we are what we think all that we are arises with our thought with our thought we make the world if you think in positive terms you get positive results if you think in negative terms you get negative results and this has been repeatedly told by the ancient sages saints authors writers poets prophets but the people are not very much sincere about it they should understand that we are the master of our fate we are the captain of our soul just if we take full possession of our mind a control in directed towards a specific goal and purpose in life so we become what we think about that's why my best friend all nangal wrote a strange secret and this quote we are what we think about the six words we are what we think about so why don't you start thinking what you want to become but think great few words from my other friend just listen what he said greatness is only attained by the constant thinking of great thoughts great thoughts no man can become great in outward personality until he is great internally and no man can be great internally until he thinks no amount of education reading or study can make you great without thought but thought can make you great with very little study there are altogether too many people who are trying to make something of themselves by reading books without thinking all such will fail you are not mentally developed by what you read but by what you think about what you read thinking is the hardest and most exhausting of all labor and hence many people shrink from it god has so formed us that we are continuously impelled to thought we must either think or engage in some activity to escape thought the headlong continuous chase for pleasure in which most people spend all their leisure time is only an effort to escape thought if they are alone or if they have nothing amusing to take their attention as a novel to read or a show to see they must think and to escape from thinking they resort to novels shows and all the endless devices of the purveyors of amusement Most people spend the greater part of their leisure time running away from thought. Hence, they are where they are. We never move forward until we begin to think. Read less and think more. Read about great things and think about great questions and issues. We have at present time few really great figures in the political life of our country. Dear friends, what I mean to say, if you start thinking seriously on any topic, then really you can become something very vital and great all the discovery inventions and everything what you find today in the modern world time and modern world all the facilities all the infrastructure these are the result of the creative vision of our great leaders but for our dreamers we will not be very comfortable today we have everything today we have conquered time and space we have had the best equipment which the ancient kings they never had in their life but they were thinkers and those who think means they are using their intelligence whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can really achieve so think and think and think think some vital issues some vital points that can really transform your life because once you think the mind has the supreme intelligence the intricate and accurate machine which can give you everything what you want because once you think you visualize what you want in life and that is going to become a reality so remember again all nangal this particular sustenge secret story we become what we think about and there was not very new discovery of all these all nangal it has been told by even lord buddha and everyone else in the ancient time he said a man is what he thinks all day long other gurson said all our thoughts makes our life everyone is repeating the same thing time and again time and again you know the thinking makes you great think think 
and think. Thank you very much. This is Fakir Yogi, Brindri Yogi, in the great service of the mankind to really illuminate the darkness from their life and bring the brilliant, the brilliant illuminating thoughts of wisdom. Thank you very much.